Hey loves, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film before my battery dies because I only have a couple percentage on my iPad, but for some reason I always feel more comfortable talking on my iPad, so I guess when I have more personal conversations, it's always in like shitty format or whatever, I don't know, quality. But I just want to do a little update on, I don't know, my life. I guess I've been spending a lot of time on the boat, and so I've been filming as much as I possibly can and uploading it when I come back home. But I, haven't, I don't do really any uploading, any editing. I can't upload there. I've said it before. I'm not going to be repetitive because I'm already so repetitive with so many things I say. But, yeah, so I don't know. I try to, like, what I try to do is just upload a bunch of videos and then just slowly post them. But I don't know, some people might not like that, but that's all I can really do um, for the summertime because I am gone so much and I, I can't, you know, I can't upload every single day. And if I don't have things to upload, I'll kind of slack on it and I'll just get more comfortable slacking on it. But if I have things that I'm constantly posting, when I start to run out, I'm like, I really have to... I really have to like upload more and so it, it like motivates me to post more and I don't know I just feel like I'm accomplishing something even though so many people might think that that's so silly and so ridiculous like I I think a lot of you people who are on here you guys totally understand but like I don't know probably real people in my everyday life would probably sometimes think it's strange I don't know it's, I've been having like a hard time. It's been difficult. Father's Day passed. It's been a couple of weeks or whatever, but that's always the, like one of the most difficult times of year for me. And then we're having like a lot of things in my family is going on on both sides of my family. And I'm so grateful it's not in my house. So everybody in my house is good and we're all doing okay. We're all doing good with each other. But outside family's not doing so good. On both sides, there's so much conflict and so much drama. And there's so much negativity and it's just so sad. And it's putting a lot of stress on me and so that's tough and I've realized that there's a whole bunch of things that really set me off and really trigger me and that's what makes it so hard to go out and do things like I just sometimes want to just go out and just do things that I think a lot of people would take for granted and at the same time a lot of people understand what I'm talking about but at the same time a lot of people take that for granted just doing those simple things that give me so much anxiety I was getting anxiety like where I felt like I was having a heart attack and I know I wasn't because I'm so used to anxiety attacks, but if I wasn't used to anxiety attacks like I am, I would have seriously went to the hospital and been like, no, I'm dying, I'm having a heart attack, you need to check me, because my whole arm, just everything, I don't know, It's it's been ridiculous with dealing with pain. And I think it's, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's just stress-induced to a point, like, the pain is there, but the stress is making it way worse, and it's making me feel things way more, and it's making my nerves act up. And my whole body is just like in a mess and it's twitching and it's there's so many like I don't know it's it's so fucking depressing to deal with pain like that and I'm 33 years old I'm like I shouldn't be dealing with pain but at the same time there's no age limit there's no age restriction there's no age like you know what I'm talking about there's no age thing on that so I don't know I'm just trying to go by and it seems like time is going by so fast but the days are going by so slow and I don't know. I don't know. I'm just glad that I have the people in my household because I, I don't know. I feel like certain relationships are just getting really trying and even some of my friendships, I'm not even going to get into it because I, obviously I'm not getting into it with them. I'm not going to get into it on here, but it's just disappointing when you have a hard time of your in your life and, you know, me... I, I guess even though when I'm having hard times in the past, I still put on a happy face, but it comes to a point now where I can't pretend and I can't put on a happy face. I have to face the fact that I'm having things and I'm having problems and I have to fix them and I have to try all, all different ways to do that. I can't, you know, I can't ignore it and it's just, it's sad when you realize that there's people in your life that you genuinely thought were cared about you and you realize when times are not pleasant they're not around and that's because times are not pleasant and they don't want to deal with that and I understand that in every way I mean I will do that with people but those people I'm not true friends with so that's what's kind of a little bit like hard to deal with it's just hard to deal with people and that's why I'm really happy I have this outlet because the people on here that I speak to and that I talk to and that I've gotten to know are just I feel like are on the same wavelength and understand 
and I do have people in my life that understand and I'm not talking about like one person in particular or everybody in general I'm just talking about that there are relationships that are you know obviously I don't know it's very trying so you know sometimes little things happen and people are there but when it really when shit hits the fan and it becomes like a big thing and life gets really really hard you really come to realize who is there for you and sometimes that's a a pisser and an eye opener and it's just it's something else so I've been having so much like I feel like I have so much on my chest and so much on weighing on me and it's just bring it's bringing me down and I'm trying to fight it I just I've said it before I feel like there are devils in the world I am such a firm believer in God I'm a Christian believer because I believe in Jesus but I believe so much that there is like this battle of good and evil in this world where the good is just kind of standing there hoping that you're going to go and take it side, hoping that you're going to be the bigger man, hoping that you're going to make the right decision. And it's not going to really push a lot on you. It's just there. And it's just hoping that you're going to do the right thing, whereas the bad and the evil pushes on you in it. It gives you little things. It'll give you little gifts to try to manipulate you. And it'll screw with you in all kinds of ways. And a lot of people don't want to understand that. They think that everything is just the way it is. And if you can't see it and it's not written in stone, then it's not there. But... I just firmly believe that that's what it is, and I, I'm I'm getting like pushed in every direction, and I feel like the better we are as people, and the more we have to give as people, the more we are going to be tried, and the more it's going, you know, we're going to be tempted, and we're going to, you know, and I, I, I think that's where I really believe that some depression and anxiety and things like that can come from that, because it's just, the devil wants to take down the best ones, you know? So, I don't know, I have 5% left on my battery, so it might just cut out, and I don't know, I'm going to have to try to charge this stupid iPad, takes forever to charge, it's so old, but, I don't know, I just, I, I definitely feel like there are forces in this world that are just hearing me, and I'm really trying to remain strong, I'm going to remain strong, there's absolutely nothing that's going to get me down, because I have made that... I have made that type of relationship with God where I understand that he is going to help me and I there are times where I stop and I fail and I fall but all in all I think I'm getting better with that and that's going to that's making me just have a better trust in myself and I don't know if that makes any sense it's like I don't know I know a lot of people would think I'm crazy and I sound crazy and I am a little bit crazy but you know, this world is tough and you have to find an outlet that's going to bring a good good into you, you know, that's going to bring good balance and that's going to calm you. And I just find like you can't, you can't put your trust in God 100% and be upset at the same time. So, but putting yourself, putting trust into anything 100% is really hard, especially if you have trust issues. <laughs> but... My mother's calling me. I told her we should call her back. But I just wanted to come out here and make a little bit. I don't want to make it too long. But I mean, I'm hanging in there and I'm doing good. But depression is kicking my butt. My vitamin D is probably getting better because I've been in the sun and I feel like I'm doing better. Like my hair and my nails and my skin are doing better just from being in the sun. So I know I have to move out of shitty Connecticut and be somewhere where in the sun. And like all year I can be in the sun and I can get the right amount of vitamin D because I don't think my body makes it on its own and that's a serious thing there's a lot of health risks and there's a lot of health things and I suffer from them so I need to like do something and that is really scary because change scares the crap sorry I got cut off but you know change just scares me I'm so so intimidated and so scared of change so I know I need to change and I know that it's going to be for the best but it's such a scary scary thing so working on that is good. I got my Lyme test back because I did have to get tested for Lyme disease because I've been having so much pain and I want to kind of rule out other things. And I came back negative, so thank the Lord. I didn't have, I didn't think I had it, but you never know. And yeah, it's just very scary. So I'm at home for a couple of days. I'm going to go back to the boat. It's really hot and I'm so appreciative that I have the boat. You have no idea. I mean, I might, when I look at some of these, I'm like, boy, I look like, I'm very spoiled, but I'm very appreciative. I know what it's like not to have anything. And not, I know what it's like to, to, for it to be tough. So it's really nice that I have this because I really honestly feel like it saves my life just to get out and get a different view and get out. Like, in my house, I won't get out. I've had so much tragedy happen to me around my area. And so it's so hard and to see certain places. And it just, it just sets me off. And it's so upsetting and it's so hard. And I just, I don't know what to do. I want to be strong and I want to be able to, you know, fight those 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 thoughts and those feelings but it's very difficult to do that and 
I'm not, you know, I'm realizing that I just might, I have to get away from it instead of trying to fight it and fight it. I fight the feelings, but when I'm constantly reminded, that's what makes it hard. So I think if I didn't have constant reminders, it would be a little bit easier. And that's what I need. And that's what's so nice about summertime is because I do really need to be out. I need to be doing things. I need to be taking my daughter to do things. And at home, it's very hard to do that. So it's really nice that we're able to have something like that there. And just, yeah, working on anxiety and depression and I'm fighting it and I'm doing it and I'm I'm going to continue doing it and anybody knows who deals with it it's just such a hard thing and it's there's just no words and there's really not much help and there's not a lot of understanding so that's why it's good to communicate it does help me talking about it it does help me coming on here talking about it I don't know why but it just does and hopefully it helps somebody else and just knowing that they're not alone and that there definitely there are people who understand but at the same time, there's many that don't, but you can't give up hope. You know, that's what I'm just coming to realize, that there's people in my life who, who let me down, who are going to let me down, but there's always going to be somebody who's going to make me smile and who's going to bring something to the table that, you know, that I didn't have before, and that's going to set a new light, and that's going to give me, a, you know, a friendship, and that's going to be good. You know, there's just times change, and life changes, and it's meant to do that so that we can grow. And by stopping that, you know, and for, you know, you're just you're stopping life from going, so... I don't know, I hope I make sense. I never know if I make sense during these crazy rants, but some people seem to like them, and so thank you for liking them, and thank you for watching them, and taking the time to comment, and all of that. It really is, like, so nice, you know, it's a nice feeling. Like I said, it's nice, I guess, you know, if I could help people by letting them know they're not alone. At the same time, you're helping me by letting me know that I'm not alone. So we're really helping each other. It's like a two-way road, and... It's important because so many times in this world we want to cover everything. We want to lie about everything. We want to bullshit about everything and make pretend it's all pretty and that way everybody can maybe admire it or we could just, you know, whatever the illusion that we want to give off. And that just doesn't do any good for anybody and it just hurts us and it hurts everybody around us and it gives everybody this illusion of life that's not real. And it's just, it's really a fucked up thing. It's really not good. It's really not healthy. And it just does no good. So I really don't want bullshit and a lot of people don't like that about me. And I think that's what some people respect about me and what others hate about me. But that's just the way I'm going to be because I feel that that's the right way to be. And I feel like that's what God wants me to do is just be honest and be who I am. And by, by lying and not, by not being honest and by covering things up and sugarcoating shit, I feel like I'm, I'm doing something wrong. It doesn't feel right. And so I'm not going to do something that I feel is wrong. I want to do things that make that are right. And even if those are hard things to do, like do these videos and just be honest to myself and to the whole world like screw it that's the way it is and that's the way a lot of people are and this is the way life is and we have to deal with that and we can't cover it up because it's never going to go away so it is what it is so I'm going to leave it at that and I'm thanking you so much for watching and god I don't know who that I know that sits and watches my videos but it's a little like weird for me to think that there are people that see me day to day that watch me and don't say anything I don't know is that weird do you think that's weird it's weird that I don't tell people I do this maybe that's weird I don't know I'm insecure and that's life and I can admit to it and I'm working on it so I guess like the first step is denial and I'm not fucking denying so it's good yay so yeah I love you guys I hope everybody's doing well many blessings I'm always here if you need a friend I've said it before and I will say it again and I just thank you guys for being who you are and for being so nice to me and always having such nice things to say I always expect negativity from certain things sometimes well I don't really expect it but I'm kind of like almost prepared for it and I don't get it I get so much positivity so it's like oh my goodness it's just unbelievably amazing and it makes you have faith in the world I guess this this channel gives me faith in humanity so thank you many blessings bye